Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Kakadash. We come back to you today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit of power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of the day lesson is, They that consent unto them shall be had in derision. They that consent unto them shall be had in derision. So the idea about it, I was watching the news last night. And spirit hit me, you know what I'm saying, that we are at, we are in the end time, you know what I'm saying. And Biden had said that by May 1st, you know, he will have the vaccine available for everyone to to be a minister, you know, to them, you know. And I deal about we are Revelation chapter 13 is, is alive and well now, you know what I'm saying. Revelation chapter 13, 16 to 18, and you know, it said that hey, we are here, you know what I'm saying. If a light bulb is not going off in your head and the spirit is not dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Lord, he, he don't want you. You're a part of the two-thirds of every day. Huh? But the idea about it, men of the Lord are signing crying each and every day warning you. We'll sound like a broken record. But the idea about it, that is our, that's, that's what we are commanded to do. But the idea about it, do spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, that's what we're going to continue to do. And the idea about it, uh, the title of the day lesson once again, they that consent unto them shall be headed to rich. So I have a little small video, you know, off the, uh, off the, in, uh, off the news, you know, and uh, a little small clip I want to show you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to put a little few scriptures around it and we'll close out. And I hope that you get edified by this. And I hope that this will strengthen you and bring you back to your true power, which in fact is your how about shimmy, how shot. So we'll get started with this little video and hope that you get edified by it. Let me get, let me get it and get it started up one moment. One moment. <clears throat> one moment. Start it up in one second here. One second. Okay, here we go. In Florida, spring break chaos. Two officers injured as they try to enforce rules and break up a crowd. Just trying to have a good time. Spring break. Others pushing back. This video in Texas showing police arrest a woman inside a bank after she refused policy to mask up. Not wearing a mask, people! Nationwide, the U.S. just hit 100 million shots in arms. The current rate? Vaccinating 2.2 million Americans every day. President Biden promising to make every adult eligible by May. Let me be clear. That doesn't mean everyone's going to have that shot immediately, but it means you'll be able to get in line beginning May 1. The plan includes doubling the number of retail pharmacies and federally backed vaccination sites, as well as deploying an additional 4,000 active duty military. They have enrolled tens of thousands of you know, vaccine providers um, since the fall and have basically turned on only a fraction of those individuals uh, or facilities. So we have them in a stand ready mode. So as more vaccine becomes available, they'll be turned on. The biggest challenge? Demand is currently greater than supply. Many states don't have enough professionals to administer doses. Appointments can be hard to find, and vaccine hesitancy is still an issue. But state leaders, optimistic. We're very competitive, and we do expect, and we're able to announce today, that we expect we will be there during the, um, by mid-April. Multiple states already making millions more eligible by Monday. Kentucky, Florida, Texas, California, and Georgia will all expand eligibility. And in North Carolina and Minnesota, dentists now authorized to administer COVID vaccine. Others boosting vaccination staff, also part of Biden's plan. And Morgan joins us now from Dallas. Morgan, you're at a mass vaccination site where supply is an issue. Yeah, Jose, you're exactly right. If that county leader say that... This site can do 6,000 shots each and every day, and it was supposed to be open today, but had to shut down because they ran out of vaccine, which is why local leaders are now pleading with the state to keep those shipments coming. Jose? Morgan Chesky in Dallas, thank you. Now to the growing humanitarian crisis at the southern border. Yeah. The situation... wanted you to see that, you know, to let you know that the Bible is a true book, and I deal about it that, you know what I'm saying, Bible prophecy is being fulfilled left and right. It's time to seek Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, right now while you still can find him. Of that great time of trouble, which in fact is Jacob's trouble, you know, the beginning of sorrow, we read at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Well, he said, before the elect say, the days shall be short, you know what I'm saying? The house of David, the one third, that one, the government body, he's coming back for that great remnant, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, and hopefully they will be a part of that, hopefully let, you know what I'm saying? Let's continue to do the work that can continue to endure, you know what I'm saying? But you can look at the sign of the time, look around you, watch the news, you know what I'm saying? We are not ignorant of Satan's device or his, his plan, you know, his evil doing, because the idea about the spirit of the Lord is upon us, you know what I'm saying? You know, that we keep or that great hedge of protection, you know what I'm saying? So the idea about it is that, you know, we are here now. We are, we are, we are, we are very close to the, to the end now. That great and glorious turn of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. So now we'll get started in the book of Sarah. I like to say Shalom to all that listen and learn. I hope this will help you today and bring you back to your true power, which is the fact is Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. So we get started in the book of Sarah. One moment. The book of Sarah, chapter 10. I mean, Salaki. The book of Sarah, chapter 12, and verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusts, so is his wickedness. So the idea about it, you know, you cannot never trust the so-called white man, which in fact Esau even the so-called red man. You know what I'm saying? Genesis chapter 25 and 25. What have he ever done for us good? You know what I'm saying? Only what he have done, death, destruction, rape, pillage, you know, take away. You know what I'm saying? Uh, always oppress us all the time. This is the struggle in, in Rebecca's womb. It's a continuation. We will always have this uh, 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 opposing uh, 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 enemy against us until Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah return because he's doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah from the left hand side. But that little body now we'll we'll drop down to Sirach chapter twelve and verse sixteen, and it reads, "An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lip, but in his heart he imagines how to throw thee unto a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity." He will not be satisfied with blood. Verse 17. If adversities come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Verse 18. He will shake his head and clap his hands with and whisper much and change his countenance. So the idea about it is that he's getting ready to show who he really is, you know what I'm saying? Revelation chapter 12 and 12, he having just a short time. Then also you can go to Job chapter 14 and verse five and he tell you have bound that he cannot pass. You already know who he is. He already know who we are. You know what I'm saying? We are we are the children of the most high, the 12 tribes of Israel. You know what I'm saying? If you are come from African-American, Negroes, Latinos, Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much the people come Native Indians. You know what I'm saying? So the idea about it, Everyone pretty much knowing who they are now. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about he's pretending to help you. The vaccine will be ready by May 1st. You know what I'm saying? We will have we will have a, a, a dosage for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Take it. It's good for you. We, you know what I'm saying? You, will, you don't have to worry about it. We have everything together for you. You know what I'm saying? And you know, once you take this by May the 1st, you know, that shot in the arm will be ready for you. He's talking boldly, very sweetly. He already has passed the uh, 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 the, the COVID-19 uh, 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 relief bill, you know what I'm saying? And I deal about the checks are rolling out, you know what I'm saying? Now he's getting ready for a road trip, you know, and it showed that, you know, that he, he he's your friend, you know what I'm saying? He's for you. But the idea about it, go back to the, 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 the struggle in Rebecca's womb, you know what I'm saying? We'll always be against you, you know what I'm saying? Because the idea about it, he is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, Job chapter 9 and 24. And also Malachi 1 and 3. He is the border of wickedness. That's all he's known. He's the vilest man on the earth. Never trust thy enemy. He's getting ready to change his country. He's getting ready to change his faith. He's finna get ready to do a 360 on you. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about it. The military is getting ready to get involved. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about it. It will become mandatory. You will not be able to buy and sell. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to 18. It's coming alive. You know what I'm saying? The Bible is a true book. You know what I'm saying? It's being fulfilled left and right. The men of the Lord are signing and crying each and every day, trying to bring you back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, before all this death and destruction come. So now, <clears throat> let's go to Psalms. Let's go to Psalm 140. One moment. Psalm 140. One moment. <clears throat> we'll start at verse 1. And it reads, Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Verse 2, which imagine mischief in their hearts continually. And, and are they gathered together for war? Let's read that again. 
uh, Psalm chapter 40 and verse 2, which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually are they gathered together for war. So let's drop down to verse uh, 4. And it reads, Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. Verse 5, The proud have hid a snare for me, and cord. They have spread a net uh, by the wayside, and they have set gin for me. Salah. So the idea about it is that, you know, they are, they talking very sweetly and nice, you know what I'm saying? Talking to you, the stem the checks are rolling out. I'm doing everything that, um, you know, that, 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 that y'all want, you know, so I'm, I'm helping y'all. I'm getting ready to bring uh, this, some normalcy back into the world, you know what I'm saying? And the idea about it, he's getting ready to bring war. He's getting ready to bring the global reset, you know, his agenda, you know what I'm saying? We are not ignorant of Satan's device or his evil plan. And the idea about it, he's getting ready to roll them out. Operation, Operation Warp Speed is it, it, rolling out as rapid. It's, it's, it's rolling because the idea about he knowing that he had just a short time. He know who he is. He know who you are. And the idea about it is this, you know what I'm saying? A transition of power is getting ready to take place. The violent man, which in fact is Esau even the so-called red man, is getting ready to come down with great wrath. So we are warning the men of the Lord, the ones that are doing these video, going out in the highways and byways each and every weekend, warning you, sounding like a broken wreck, but we was commanded to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be uh, 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 warned. You, know, you will know that you will, will have no excuse in the end. You know what I'm saying? You will be warned well. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about it. We are constantly going over this each and every day, being repetition. That's what the Bible is being repetition. Putting out the word of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Doing the will of your house by Shem, your house shot. And I deal about it, you know, when I watched that news uh, yesterday, you know, and I, and I looked at it, I said, oh man, we are here. And I jumped up. I said, I got to put a few scriptures around this, you know what I'm saying? And warn the sheep, you know, anyone. I mean, I can bring back one sheep, that, you know, that would be good. You know what I'm saying? Anything to bring any one back before this death and destruction come. Because if you do not come back to your true power, it's the fact if you are part of the 12 tribes of Israel, you would know it death by pain. So now, <clears throat> let's go to uh, let's go to Second uh, Corinthians. One moment. Second Corinthians chapter two and verse eleven, and it reads, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Let's read that again. Second Corinthians chapter two and verse eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant. Of Satan's device or his evil plan or what he's getting ready to do. The men of the Lord are, are foreseen, you know what I'm saying? Because we have the Spirit of the Lord upon us, you know what I'm saying? We have that foresight, you know what I'm saying? We have that eyesight, you know what I'm saying? That only come for uh, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. And the idea about it, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the time. That's why we are warning you, you know what I'm saying? This is not a game. This is not entertainment. This is your life is on the line. Salvation is more is more near than we yet believe. And the idea about it, it's time for you to seek. Yahweh Shem at all costs, great or small, rich or poor, and one that would not seek Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, will be put to death. So this is not a game, you know what I'm saying? It's time. You know what I'm saying? We are in the end time now, you know what I'm saying? Bible prophecy are just left and right. Measure the time diligently. Look around you. Be circumspect, you know what I'm saying? Watch, pray, and be sober. So now, let's go to uh, let's go to Leviticus. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to Leviticus. This is the one you should be trusting in. <clears throat> yeah, how about Shem, yeah, how Let's go to Leviticus chapter 19 and verse, I think it's around verse 20. Could be wrong. Verse 20, verse 28. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Let's read that again. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the law. So that deal about it, I created, he know, he know us very well. He know us very, uh, a whole lot better than uh, Esau, even so-called white man, which in fact, he created him also. But that deal about it, he has a, a God complex and he's thinking that he's better than Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. He's telling you don't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, take the mark with the fact of cutting, or scratch, or imprint, or tattoo, you know what I'm saying? You know, a karagma, you know what I'm saying? When you look that word up, you know what I'm saying? And the idea about it is that, you know what I'm saying? He's telling you, you know, 
do not do not take it. You know what I'm saying? Do not take the maxine. You know what I'm saying? Trust and believe in Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. And everything will go well with you. He will deliver you in time of trouble. In that great time, uh, uh, that great hour of temptation, he said you will be saved out of you because you kept his commandment the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? And you kept leaning on it and trusting in it and strengthening yourself. And you kept the faith. And that's the idea about it. We are right at this time. We are right at the end time. You know what I'm saying? Rejoice because the kingdom of heaven is right at hand. So now, let's go to... Uh, <clears throat> Let's go to 2nd Edge chapter uh, chapter 16. We'll close that here. 2nd Edge chapter 16 and verse 69. 2nd Edge chapter 16 and verse 69. One moment. And it reads, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Let's read that again. That's the title of today's lesson. Second Edges chapter 16 and verse 69. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. So that deal about it. Your unbelief. In your unbelief, Salak. You know what I'm saying? You will be had in derision. You know what I'm saying? Mockery, a laughing stock. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't want to return to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Anyone that consent. You know, to take that strong shot in the arm, you know what I'm saying? They will be ready by May 1st, you know what I'm saying? Trusting in the oppressor, you know, trusting in the strength of Egypt, you know what I'm saying? Trusting in the so-called white man, which in fact is the red man, and trusting in white man Jesus will not save you. You will be had in the rich. And I tell about it's time to seek Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah at all costs because we are running out of time. We can look around us, you know what I'm saying? We are at the end. That great and glorious return of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is right upon us, you know what I'm saying? The men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? The believers, the one third of the house of David, we are rejoicing. Even though we must go through this last evil time in Jacob's trouble, we're not worried about that because he said he will deliver us and he will take care of us. And the title of the day lesson, once again, is they that consent unto them shall be had in derision. So I like to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim. Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakadash. And I like to say, Shalom.